I was always going to do science as far back as I could remember. About half the work that I end up doing is in theoretical approaches to systematics. So questions that involve uh, the analysis of DNA sequences or other sorts of data types. How does one construct evolutionary trees from them? How do you combine different sorts of information? How do we extract information from them? And the other half is, uh, would be empirical projects and systematics, usually in invertebrates. Invertebrates like arthropods, insects, spiders, uh, mollusks, all sorts of different creatures. On the computational side, uh, the field when I entered it was a very prosaic one. Analysis was largely by hand, com computer Generate analysis was really just starting out, and in that time, the field has become incredibly technical. We have built cluster computers. Uh, we've done parallel cluster computing here now for almost 20 years. And at one point, we did have one of the uh, top 100 fastest computers in the world, really devoted to phylogenetic and evolutionary questions. Supermap is a project that uh, I'm, I'm a collaborator with. It's mainly run out of a former postdoc here, a guy named Dr. Dan Janney, at the Ohio State University Medical School. And the idea of the Supermap project is to integrate our computational engines for reconstructing phylogenetic tree DNA sequences and integrate that with geographic uh, referencing uh, analysis. The idea is that this project was really developed to look at viral evolution in space and time. And the idea being that we can take the evolutionary tree and then superimpose that on a map of the world or a globe. And then we can look at not only where things are in terms of how they originate evolutionarily, but how geographically linked they are. And then not only that, but let's say we have some medically interesting question like uh, will a certain uh, agent, uh, antiviral agent function in a certain part of the world, we can map that on by looking at the specific mutations that occur in different, or have occurred in different parts of the world at different times. There are a lot of public health implications of it. One of the real aha moments I had, it was really an algorithmic innovation that uh, involved the analysis of DNA sequences and how we can take a DNA sequence of different sorts of creatures and then directly apply them to evolutionary trees. And I was thinking about it on my way home on the train and then I realized on the train that I, if I could do one thing, I wouldn't even have to do DNA sequence alignment. I could skip that step entirely. I think I stayed up for about four days straight after that, working out the theory and doing a preliminary implementation so I could try out the ideas. That was a pretty, uh, at least to me, a very interesting thing to do.